Happy Fun Artifact Friday. Today is Dewey Decimal System Day, which is a cataloging system that libraries use for their books, hence why we're here at the library in Kirkland Lake. The Dewey Decimal System was established by Melville Dewey in 1876, and it organizes library books by subject category. It devises 10 main subject categories and 100 subdivisions per category. So, for example, philosophy and psychology are allocated the numbers 200 to 299, with each number in between being a subcategory in the subdivision associated with the number 200. The Dewey Decimal System helps libraries uh, establish uh, sorting their books by uh, subject and location, as well as helps them establish a uh, comprehensive cataloging and inventory system. It is for this reason that Melville Dewey is often credited as the father of library science. In honor of Dewey Decimal System Day, we thought we would give you a look at the museum's own cataloging system and take you through the process of accessioning an artifact. So, we're headed back to the museum. Accessioning is our fancy term for cataloging an artifact in the museum's collection and entering it into our system. A lot of time goes into this process, and today we're going to break it down for you. Once an artifact has been donated to the museum, the necessary paperwork completed, and it's been accepted into the museum's collection, then the accessioning process can begin. The museum uses a collection software database called PassPerfect to store important information uh, regarding artifacts like uh, donors, item descriptions, locations, and condition reports. Each artifact is also assigned a specific, unique, three-part number separated by decimals similarly to the Dewey Decimal System. The first part of the number is the year that the object is being accessioned. The second part of the number is the number assigned to the particular donation or lot of items. And the final part of the number will be unique for each artifact in the donation. Sometimes we receive more than one artifact per donation, and so we'll assign them numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. So to summarize, the first artifact of the first donation of the year would be assigned to the number 2021.001.001. Now let's take a look at an example in the museum's research library. This book is 2,000 Miles of Gold by J.B. McDougall, and it's been assigned the accession number 1969-49-2. When accessioning this book, first we would have created a past perfect record for it. Past perfect records at the museum are divided into four categories, objects, photos, archives, and library. This book has been entered under the library category. Once an artifact has been entered into Past Perfect, it would then need a home location. The museum has dozens of location codes to record the locations of artifacts in the building. When selecting a location for an artifact, such as this book, we try to find a proper home with similar items or keep themed items together. Books in the research library are stored on shelves by theme. This book has been given the location code Library S17 for its location on shelf 17 with books of similar themes. Once an artifact's location code has been recorded in its past perfect record, it is ready to be stored in its new home. Well, there you have it. That's how the museum's artifact cataloging system works. We hope you enjoyed this little breakdown on this Fun Artifact Friday. Be sure to join us next week for another Fun Artifact.